Hi, so today I'm going to talk about a fantastic technology that's cloud computing. What is cloud computing? See, two things we should understand. The one is like a website hosting servers. So I got a remote hosting server. Whether I use it or not, I have to pay money. Both the things are external parties maintaining servers. The difference is if it is a web hosting service, whether you use it or not, you have to pay money. Whereas we are going for renting the technology. That's where cloud company became real famous. And uh, welcome to a company like uh, our company, Kashiv Infotech. We are providing internships, in plan training, workshops, project guidance. We are doing a lot of services. Apart from that, if you are looking for any live training, so I'll be training you like uh, in live. So wherever you are, you just sit in your home. I'll be teaching you. So complete 3D based training. I'm going to give it in lots of technology. I'm specialist in almost 180 technology. You can contact us anytime for any technology, any department. Even electronics, mechanical, any department, I'm ready to guide you. So let's move on to the session. So before going ahead, like uh, I'm conducting, like if you're looking for any cloud computing courses, internships or projects, you can contact me at any time via online classes or you can come direct to my office. And here is my contact number. Okay, let's move on to the history of cloud computing. Cloud computing, what is initially a person started using the computers to do a lot of processing. Okay, that's the first world we got. From there, like uh, the person started integrating with multiple, I want to share some data to other people. Okay, that's why your networking comes. So using networking, I started sharing the data. We need a common application to share the data. That's why your website started created. I create a website. Hey, I put some data here. You just see it there in the next room. That's where your website created inside an office. From there, the next generation world comes where my website is hosted somewhere. And via the World Wide Web, the people started accessing the website. This is how the next world of technology comes to the picture. Okay, so over here, so the websites are hosted somewhere and uh, everyone can access via the internet. The basic thing is like, uh, we need to register my server in the World Wide Web, right? I don't know money and I don't know. In that case, we got a lot of companies like GoDaddy company, GoDaddy. So lots of companies are there. What they will do is like, they will host the website. You have to pay money for them. The problem is like, sir, like I didn't use my website properly, sir. So for one year I registered, but I used for only one month, sir. Why should I pay for next 11 months? I don't want to pay, right? That is a major problem with the, like uh, web hosting. That's where we move to the next generation. Fantastic technology. That's your cloud computing. The cloud computing is nothing but uh, renting the technology. So I'm going to use it for three days. Yeah, pay for three days. I'm going to use only two GB of RAM. Pay for two GB of RAM. Whatever you have used, you use like you pay for the usage. That's why cloud computing became real famous. Project your carry over cloud and you will be the topmost expert. So here we need a next generation people towards machine learning, artificial intelligence and cloud computing. The cloud computing is going to dominate the industry and it's associated with the internet of things and become famous. Okay, let's move on to the next level. Like uh, before going ahead, if you didn't subscribe my channel, please subscribe it and support us. Okay, and if you love this video, please, I want your love button from your, can you do it for me, please? Okay, let's move on to the session. What is cloud computing? Usually like a normal web hosting is a buying the servers kind of. Whereas the cloud company is called renting the servers kind of. Okay, both the things are can be a renting, but the difference is like uh, you'll be using, you'll be paying for usage. So here over here, the web hosting, it's costly. Whereas in cloud computing, it's very less. And maintenance, if you buy a server, you have to pay like a maintain it. Over here in cloud computing, they will take care of everything. No need to do anything. Okay, over here, sir, I got a 2 GB of RAM. I bought a 2 GB of RAM. I don't want 2 GB. I'll go with 1 GB. You can't return back. You can you can't ask the people like, hey, sir, I want for 10 days I want 2 GB RAM. One day I want 1 GB RAM. You can't do it. That's why the ba basic problem with the like a servers or web browsing. Whereas in cloud computing, you want 2 GB for two days. 3 GB for 4 days and 2 GB for 1 day. Yes, you can do it, man. So based on the usage, you can pay the money. That's why the cloud company became real famous. Over here, you have to pay for buying. Over here, you'll be paying for using. That's why the cloud company became real famous. Okay, now let's see like why the cloud company once again. 
instead of a laptop if you buy a server a standalone server will be 10 times like a huge cost whereas i move to the distributed servers a distributed computing server it's 20 times i want a linkedin kind of servers high performance computing 30 times whereas cloud computing is minus which very much lesser it's equivalent or lesser than your laptop a computing cost that's where cloud computing became famous okay if you talk about cloud computing there are varieties of major types are there among that three major types i'm going to talk the one thing is like renting the server second thing is like i'll be renting the server i can prefer any operating system i can put any software the second thing is like renting the operating system the third thing is like renting the software so renting the server like i bought a server put any OS, put any software use it renting the operating system so windows 10 i want sir i want a linux i want here like a color linux maybe like i want a windows 7 i want a like a something like a dedicated OS for sap or ibm mainframe sap or something like that whatever operating system you want no need to pay anything extra pay for how many days you want that's why it is famous okay so you can put any software you can use it and over here renting the software so you'll be renting the software you can use it as much as you can and give it to them okay that's where you have to prefer this cloud okay who are the top players in cloud top players like amazon dominate the industry for aws Okay, they got almost 33 percent one by three of the ratio is amazon web service the second guy is like microsoft azure it's a microsoft product third third player is like a google cloud and the fourth one is ibm cloud and fifth one is alibaba it's going on okay so if you project your profile towards amazon or aws or microsoft azure the job options are really huge you can enjoy the thing okay so here is an example i want to show you like uh, i want to show like a google cloud what is the process available and where's exactly located okay cloud.google.com is the url you got a 23 regions 70 zones 140 countries and you got a lot of locations the blue color indicates that it's a currently available service in that location and white color indicates in future it's going to come okay you got a lot of processing in cloud so these are the areas regions google have segregated like americas europe asia pacific and multi-region the first one is computing process in the left side you are able to see all the computing process which service where is exactly located in which location you are able to get the like services the computing followed by storage and databases and uh, the next level is like you got machine learning big data and machine learning these are the processes available in the particular locations you got networking concepts and you got your developer de developer tools identity and security so these are the areas available okay these are the services which google is supporting in different locations and it is segregated based on the regions you may ask me what is computing sir computing is nothing but um, see i want to do some I, I got a website which is in local and it's doing some uh, like i'm inserting a data i'm registering a user in that case moving the website to the remote location in the cloud service and doing is computing inserting a data updating a data doing some processing the second thing is like you got your networking sir i want a router a high-end router sir i don't buy it i can you go for renting yes you will be having a router which you can maintain it to do some processing in the networking world so renting the network devices and networking concepts yeah virtual machines Okay, that is the second thing third thing is the big data and machine learning as you know that enormous amount of processing if you want to do like a linkedin twitter or something they are looking for this kind of servers a cloud servers in like in the cloud computing world okay so you can go with like a big data machine learning and apart from that you got security and identity for like making more security and authentication token if someone wants to access my website go via my google cloud and come back to me that's your identity and security everything every technology will become a renting technologies okay okay let's move on to the next company like a uh, data center map.com this company got uh, two things data centers data centers storing the data and processing it everything is done by data centers and the cloud is different and you are able to see the data center this company got this much number of data centers around the globe we talk about the cloud servers you are able to see the cloud servers listed here wow that's really awesome man we got a number of amount of cloud servers available 
Okay, sir, I want a specific option for for Windows OS. Where what are the locations for Linux OS? What are the locations? I want like uh, like in firewall, high secure load balancing. I want a backup thing, sir. If one one website if a website located in this location is not working, I'll go to this location. So everything you are able to match it out of with this particular cloud. Okay, so this is uh, these are the options to filter out to like uh, go towards this company. If you're interested to project this company, yes, you can go ahead. Okay, check it out. Okay, you got a lot of cloud computing tutorials in my uh, website wikidicom slash tutorials slash cloud company. Just go and watch it. Okay, so if you want to contact me, you can contact me at any time via my Insta account and here's my contact numbers to contact me. If you need any trainings, yes, you can contact me at any time. So hope you enjoy this video. I say thanks for watching this video. Like uh, this is Venkat signing off for Wikidic in Kashi and Fudak. Thank you. I'm looking for a lot of comments and feedback about this program and this video. Thank you.